David Hogg, so you've had your uh, 15 minutes of fame. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Obviously, that's a screen name. It's not my real name. Obviously, so. Now, what I want to talk to you about is Path You're Heading Down because it's a very dangerous and very destructive path. Now, you have to understand who you're working for, ultimately. You're working for a man named George Soros, but above that is something called the European Union. And that's what you're actually working for. Now, I'm going to have people tearing their hair out by the roots, so I'm going to explain what I mean by you're working for the European Union. Back in, see, in order to understand where the European Union came from, you have to understand the history of World War II and what happened with Germany. Well, we know Germany got defeated. The Nazis didn't get defeated, however. In fact, General Patton was uh, tasked with ruling over Bavaria for a time until he had his famous accident and died. Many of us don't think that was an accident, but I'm not going to get into that. But he was, he used former Nazi officials in key positions in Bavaria, and he drew heavy criticism for doing that. Other thing people don't understand is that there was an insurgency in Germany for a couple of years called the Werewolves. Not to be confused with the mythical creature that comes out at night on a full moon. They're called the werewolves, and essentially they were an insurgency. This is after Germany collapsed and was under occupation by Russians in the East and us in the West. Now, cut forward to the collapse of the Soviet Union. Uh, the Soviet Union collapsed right in the time frame of the 1990s. Then immediately what comes along? Something called the European Union. Soviet Union, European Union. Gee, notice the simula similarity there? Now talk show Jim Quinn says it best. The European Union is Hitler's dream without the ovens. Quite true. It is Hitler's dream. He wanted to unite all of Europe under Germany. The main power is in Germany, although the official capital is in Brussels, Belgium. Let's be clear on that. These e the bottom line here is that these EU officials in a political sense, are the grandchildren of Adolf Hitler and the Nazis. They're their grandchildren, politically speaking. I'm not saying physically speaking, politically speaking. Or you could say the Nazis were their antecedents, the ones that came before them. But they're a lot smarter than Nazis. They don't wear armbands. They don't go around... Uh, terrorizing Jews, they're content to work slowly. The other thing you have to understand about the collapse, about Germany, is that it was the youth. That would be you. That these evil people uh, got to first. That's what Nazis tried to control, is the youth, Hitler's youth. Look it up. They organized them in order to get the guns out of the hands of the people. The so long and short of it, that's, you're working for, politically speaking, like I said, their grandchildren or great-grandchildren, however you want to put it. Strictly in a political sense, not in a physical sense. You're actually working for these people. You realize, I went through high school, I went through the public school system like you did, and no one ever mentioned even one World War II battle, 
everything I know about it, almost everything I know about World War Two, I learned later on in my adult life from reading about it, watching YouTube videos, and so forth. See, you're not learning anything in school. You're learning. You're learning indoctrination. You're learning trash. That's what you're learning. That. Of course, I consider it to be unacceptable. This is why I do these videos. So, you have a choice to make here. You're headed down the wrong road there, youngster. You have a choice here. You've got to do something, change, turn around, and understand what's going on. You're being controlled and manipulated by very, very wicked people. They are, they are the antecedent, they are descended uh, from Nazis, because you can't defeat a political philosophy, you can defeat a nation. Germany was defeated, but you can't defeat a philosophy. And Nazis were never defeated, they simply changed form. Blind man can see them in a minute. The Soviet Union goes away, and then they move in and form the European Union. Blind man can see it in a moment. They kind of like, I hate to besmirch the character of uh, hyenas, but that's kind of what they're like. See, a hyena will sit there and watch for a chance to steal its game from something like a lion. They're opportunistic. And very, these uh, Nazi descendants in uh, Brussels are much like hyenas in the way they took over all these European countries. So you're headed down a very bad path. Uh, I can't really do this justice in one video. You need to research this and learn what's going on. George Soros is obviously bankrolling your these demonstrations along with the European Union. George Soros is a wicked, wicked, wicked man. He's evil beyond evil. And you have a choice to make. If you follow these people, I hate to use a movie uh, comparison because movies aren't real, but it would be like Luke Skywalker following the Emperor. That would be the analogy that I would make. See, evil, I'm not sure if I believe in a satanic evil per se, but there are beings like that. However, I do believe there is evil. It's just an interpretation that I'm not sure of. You have you have a choice here to make here. If you go down this path that you're going down, soon there will be no turning back. You are in under control by some very wicked, wicked people. You and your friends, and it's time for you to realize this. You won't hear this in school. The school officials don't want you to know this stuff. It's a sad fact that our schools have become nothing more than indoctrination centers. It was like that when I was in high school, and that was a long time ago. My God, I'm 57. I was never taught one thing. I was never taught one good thing about my obviously European heritage. And I still don't know or really care where my uh, ancestors actually came from. Other than I know they were European, obviously so. Blonde hair, pale skin, of course. I'm going to sum this up. You have a choice to make there, boss. 
better you best make the right one because if you don't you're headed down a path that is pure destruction pure evil please get together with your friends and try to understand what has happened here and there are many people, including myself, who, by the way, don't believe the official story about that, the shooting at your school. I don't believe it. There, there are too many eyewitnesses saying they saw uh, more than one person, more than one shooter. And they have no fewer than four cops stand down and watch this happen. No. The whole story's bogus right from the start. But you're the one that has to make a choice here. You and your friends. You can head down the path of evil and follow what essentially is the Euro European uh, Union mandates. You'll only hear this from me, by the way, about the European Union. You won't hear it from anybody else. Or you can choose another path. You can choose to learn about these people where they came from, and how you're being manipulated. That would be my advice to you. Do your research. Learn about these people. Learn about Nazis and the Communists and how they go together. It, it'll take time. It takes a long time to study this stuff. But it's well worth it. Because right now, you don't know anything. You know nothing about what's going on. You know nothing. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Feel free to contact me if you can. You can contact me on my uh, YouTube channel. But you are headed down the wrong road, boss. That's the end of the subject, as far as I'm concerned. That's all.